Okay, so today we're gonna to be making corned beef brisket in the smoker. This might be something that you probably think is not a recipe you can make, but trust me, it's simply amazing. What you're gonna need to start off with is a nice big piece of corned beef. Um, we got this from Giant Eagle. A lot of places right now don't have the huge pieces uh, like you do during St. Patrick's Day and other holidays, but this is about a four pound piece. It's a nice cut. And for the rub, you're gonna need some paprika, some cayenne pepper, some black pepper, some chili powder, some granulated garlic, and some kosher salt. Okay, so we're gonna start off, we're gonna do all the measurements at one and a half teaspoons. Um, we have a measurement tool right here by All Clad. It's actually a, an odd size measurement. It, it measures one and a half teaspoons. So we're going to start off with the kosher salt. Dump that in. Then we're gonna do the pepper right here. You can use coarse pepper too if you want, but um, all we have right now is the finely ground. Of course, it's a little bit better for the for the bark, but what are you gonna do? Granulated garlic, chili powder. I love chili powder on stuff. It's a great flavor, flavor profile. Um, it's very under, underutilized uh, spice. Now the cayenne pepper, you can either use a tablespoon and a half, or you can use less, uh, depending on how spicy you want it. We're actually gonna use a little bit less because um, we don't want it too spicy just because it'll mess with the flavor, but we're gonna do about a half a tablespoon. Last but not least, the paprika. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the, it's kind of clumpy, the paprika. And we're just gonna stir it up like so. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't put um, more than a tablespoon and a half of salt in there, it's because the corned beef brisket is already brined and it's fairly salty, so you don't need too much salt on the outside. It'll actually overpower it. So that's why you'd only use a tablespoon and a half of the um, kosher salt. So obviously the brisket is in um, the solution in the bag. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna cut it out of the bag, rinse it off real well, and then kind of pat it dry. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so we just rinse it off. Um, you're gonna wanna rinse it with cold water. Uh, I know that most people probably will, but just in case, if you rinse it with too warm water, it might start cooking it a little bit. Not much, but it kind of might affect it. So again, we're just gonna pat it dry like so. After it's rinsed, let it, let it, let it kind of drip in the sink a little bit before you do this step so there's not so much water. And then it's gonna be like that. We're gonna put the fat side up. So the next step you're gonna do is put some uh, yellow mustard onto the brisket. And what that actually does is it helps the bark stick to it, which is the mixture we made right here. So what we're gonna do is kind of shake it up a little bit and just give it a nice little coating here and just rub it in, not too much. Then you're gonna go ahead and take the rub and just kind of sprinkle it on. Now something with the rub, you don't wanna rub it in, you wanna pat it. So I know it's kind of a counterintuitive, but very important that you pat, not rub. So it should look kind of like that. Then we're gonna flip it over and get the other side. So that's what the brisket should look like. Um, and we're gonna actually put it in the fridge overnight. So it's gonna sit in there for about eh, 12 to 14 hours. And then we're gonna get on to the next step, which is actually starting to cook the brisket in the smoker. So this is the prep. Uh, you don't have to do it overnight, but I find that it gets the flavor into the brisket a lot better if you let it soak overnight in the, um, well, so you let it sit on the brisket overnight in the fridge. So just gonna take some cellophane and wrap this up over the, over the tray and try not to squeeze too hard on the brisket. And like I said, the next step will be actually um, probably four in the morning <laughs> out in the smoker. So we'll be right back, sort of. Okay, so we are preheating the smoker right now up to 225 degrees. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna actually put the brisket in fat side up onto this shelf right here. So, right like so, and this is the meter plus meat probe. It will actually give us a wireless readout um, of the internal temperature of the brisket. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna uh, smoke this until it reaches a stalling temperature of 160 degrees. Once it hits 160, we're gonna take it out and wrap it up. It should take around three hours. So we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna close her up. And then we've got right here, we've got this, the uh, wood chips. We're using apple wood today. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that in. 
and then uh yeah so we're gonna let this 225 degrees for around three hours or until the internal temperature reaches 160 162 degrees so that's where we're at right now it's six in the morning uh, we'll be back in roughly three hours okay so the internal temperature reached 161 degrees fahrenheit which is the stalling point so essentially it will stay the temperature for a while um so that's when I like to take the, br the brisket off of the smoker and wrap it. So right now we have this um, butcher paper, pink butcher paper by um, Traeger, which is a company obviously. Um, so we're gonna take this out. This is kind of expensive butcher paper, but it's only something we could find around the area. I got it at Ace Hardware. You wanna roll out about this much butcher paper and I like to double it up. So this is one piece, this is another piece. And we lay it down like so. And then we take the brisket and we set it on the butcher paper in the middle, like that. Now we get now we get to wrapping it. So to wrap it, you want to do is fold it, and you kind of want to have it tight. So you kind of pull it like this. Then we fold this down, and we fold this down. We fold it over like so. And again, fold this, same with this side. Then we fold it like this. Fold this over, and then you fold this up. And that is how you set it back in the smoker. So this facing down, and this is a real tight, is real tight is what you want. And we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the smoker until the internal temperature reaches between 195 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, <laughs> Blake just went under the tripod over here, it was hilarious. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Again, the temperature is 225 degrees Fahrenheit in the smoker. We want the internal temperature now to reach about 195 to 200. And then we're gonna take it out and let it rest for an hour to an hour and a half. So it's probably gonna take another six hours to uh, smoke. It was in the smoker for about three hours and 15 minutes at 225 degrees to get to the internal temperature of uh, 161. So that's where we're at now. And we'll see you back in about six hours. Okay, the internal temperature has reached um, 190 degrees. So we're gonna actually take it off the heat now oh man so bear with me let me do that real quick and put the camera down so there it is off the heat we're gonna come back inside and we're gonna let it rest you can set it in a cooler or a uh some kind of a freezer bag let it rest in there for about an hour so after that's done we're going to uh cut it up so that's what we're doing right now okay so the brisket rested for one hour as you can see right here we have it on the cutting board so we're gonna unwrap it Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so here it is, the corned beef, smoked corned beef brisket. We're gonna take the meat probe out. And you always wanna cut against the grain. So uh, we know this piece, the grain goes this way. So we're gonna cut this way, okay? Oh baby, this is looking amazing. Okay, so now that it's cut, let's open it up and show you what it looks like. Boom. It's really hot. <laughs> so that's the brisket, smoked corned beef brisket. It's got a nice, nice color, got a layer of fat on top. Um, so that's it. That's how you cook it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and eat it right now. So again, when it gets to 160 degrees, you wrap it and this is all you set the, so you set the smoker for 225 degrees. You put it in the brisket. It's going to take about three hours to get to 161 degrees, which is about the stalling point. Then you take it out, you wrap it up into some kind of butcher paper or tin foil, and then you put it back in 
and you put it in until it reaches an internal temperature of between 185 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we let it run until it got to about 190, and we took it off and let it rest for an hour in a cooler. Uh, you can put them in a some kind of bag or if you want, but that's how we do it. So now we cut it and we're ready to eat. So if you like this video, please like it, share it, subscribe. And for a lot more cooking videos, be on the lookout. We have a ton of fry videos coming. Um, we have some more grilling videos coming, obviously. And we have a, if you want to know how to cook brisket normal without the corned beef, um, we have that video out already. So anyway, like it, share, subscribe. Season for life, peace, and you're welcome.